Good afternoon. I just returned from the scene of a horrific accident that led to a high level anxiety all the way from Western New York to Albany to Washington. But before I describe the details, I want to be very, very clear to Americans and New Yorkers. At this time, there is no indication of a terrorist attack. Let me repeat that. At this time, there is no indication of a terrorist-involved attack here at the Rainbow Bridge in Western New York. At 11.27 this morning, a car going at a very high rate of speed crashed into a median at Niagara Street just minutes from here. It's in the city of Niagara Falls, near one of the border crossings into Canada, the Rainbow Bridge. There are four border crossings here in Western New York. This is one of the busiest crossings, not just in Western New York, but along the entire U.S.-Canadian border. And it happens on the busiest travel day of the year. So naturally, in a time of heightened alert, everyone sprang into action. It crashed into a Customs and Border Patrol booth, and the car and the booth immediately exploded. Burst into flames. I saw the video of an airborne vehicle that was absolutely surreal. You actually had to look at it and say, was this generated by AI? Because it was so surreal to see how high in the air this vehicle went, and then the crash, and the explosion, and the fire. That video will be released shortly. As I said, we're not aware of any threats to this area, but I state the caveat that the investigation is ongoing. If you can imagine, this vehicle basically incinerated. Nothing is left but the engine. The pieces are scattered over 13, 14 booths. So it is a large scene, and it's going to take a lot of time for our federal law enforcement partners, who are with me here today and I'll identify, to be able to piece together the real story to identify the make of the car. Obviously, there is not a license plate. I've been briefed by law, law enforcement for the last hour. New York State Police, Colonel Andy Crow, Colonel Allen, other law enforcement officials. I've been joined by Andy Bowker, who is the special agent in charge of the Customs and Border Patrol. I was also briefed by the SAC from the FBI. Also is on the phone with Secretary of Homeland Security Mayorkas. The FBI Director Christopher Bray has reached out. The White House has reached out. My staff has been in communication with all of them. I spoke with Senator Schumer, Senator Gillibrand, Congressman Higgins, local law enforcement, as well as local elected officials, because the world is watching to find out what happened here. And again, at a time when there's such high anxiety, stress levels are already high. And we've been on heightened alert since October 7th. That's why it's so important for me to stand here and tell the world based on what we know at this moment, and again, anything can change, there is no sign of terrorist activity with respect to this crash. We have identified that this is a local individual, a Western New Yorker. Two individuals died in the, in the vehicle. The Border Patrol individual working in the booth was injured. The booth literally protected that individual. They went to the hospital with minor injuries and have been released. There is also, again, the busiest travel day of the year, there is a major disruption. And first of all, our cross-border travel. Right now, the Rainbow Bridge will remain closed while law enforcement continues investigation. Again, this is a large, widely scattered scene, and we're trying to identify all the elements to make sure that there is no unforeseen uh, situations that we need to address before we can open again to the public. We're going to make sure the public is safe before they go back on the Rainbow Bridge. Also make sure the, the structural integrity of the booths. Also very important, our state DOT be involved in that as well. The Whirlpool Bridge and Lewiston Queensland Bridge opening early this evening, probably open by now. Can anybody confirm that? Yeah. We're open now. Okay. They are open now. There's been a lot of people trying to get across. I appreciate that. Uh, the Peace Bridge, which was open, has already op reopened half an hour ago. For those traveling by train, 
Unfortunately, Amtrak has temporarily suspended its cross-border service between New York State and Canada. And the Buffalo Airport, despite early reports, the Buffalo Airport was never closed and everything is normal. Domestic flights are still active. Uh, there has been no cessation in service there.